What's up guys? Today I'm going to be turning the wrench on my 2019 Marlin 7 and I'm going to be installing a new drivetrain. I've already changed things up a little bit on it by changing the 3x that came on it to a, a one by using the old Diori crank up my old bike and putting this JG Bikes 34T narrow white on it. So it's currently a one by nine. The rear derailleur is in a Sarah shadow, low profile, but there is no clutch. So it's a one by nine, but I've had some chain issues there. You can see by the scratch paint and the uh, chain stay protector, uh, things are kind of loose on how it goes. This is what I'm going to be switching it out to. That's a kit that comes from JG Bike I bought off Amazon. It is a Diori M4120 rear derailleur, uh, M4100 10 speed shifter, no numbers on it, comes with a cable pre, pre attached and it also ships with an 11 to 46 inch or 11 to 46 T 10 speed cassettes. Also ships with a KMC 10 speed chain and a new cable housing, which I probably won't have to use, but we'll see how that goes. First things first is the torque wrench with all the appropriate fittings. Bought that off of Amazon for like 20 bucks. Adjustable wrench, chain whip, again off Amazon. This is a uh, cassette remover. Chain breaker, won't really need this just in case. Uh, the chain I have on there right now is like with a KMC 10 speed chain. I have a KMC 9 speed chain on there, so it already has a master link. So what I really need is this just to break the master link open. Um, five millimeter hex wrench, four millimeter hex wrench, and you know, three millimeter hex wrench to take off the grip, which are lock on. Uh, if you don't have any of that, if you have a good multi-tool, it should have all those on it as well. This actually I got from Target as part of a uh, saddle bag, and it has all the tools inside of it, all the necessary tools. Not the best thing to use, but it's good to have in a pinch. Oh, and finally, nippers for the cable and the housing. Um, it's always a nice idea to have a power tool, just in case there's a lot of a lot of uh, torquing to do. I should also add, it's a good idea to have latex or nitrile gloves because it's going to be a greasy job. First thing first, I'm going to pull the chain. So what I have to do is locate the master link. There it is, right there. There we go. Next step, take your five millimeter Allen wrench and undo the cable. Let's nip that off. Since I just re replaced these housings not too long ago, let me see if I can get away with using them over again. So I'm going to take the barrel adjuster off. All right, just pull this all out. Keep all that installed there so I can 
save myself a little bit of a job there. I'm going to go ahead and pull the wheel so that I don't have to mess with things too much. Put the release. There we go. Oh, really on there. There we go. Moving on to pulling the cassette. I've got my chain whip on, just so. And here is my, my chain pull tool. You see it's gotta be a pretty big size to get on there. And it goes on, fits inside the locking ring here. And it's just a matter of getting in there. And like I said, holding things and getting on there. I already broke it loose. So, once you get it loose, so it comes right off the hub. Yeah, now's a good time to get rid of that. So, these two pieces come off. So let's slide this on here first. Put that on for now. Okay, now feed the cable into the housing. So this is where we're going to leave it for now. It's been several months since I shot the uh, previous clips and I was putting them all together when I noticed that I didn't really shoot an ending. So that's what this is. It's now March 2023. I've had this set up on here probably close to six months now. And it's working good for me. Got my local shop dialed in. That is quite the jump. As you can probably see, didn't really need the gut tooth. What was, uh, was able to use the stock one on the derailleur, and it all works great. Sorry, it's a little bit dirty, but I do ride the thing. Also, upgraded the tires to something a little bit more mud friendly in the front and back. Everything works well. But these kind of DIY products are never completely done. Uh, next up is probably changing out the brakes to the Shimano brand. This bike came with the Tektros that are on the Marlin 6 for this year and eh, they don't really work all that great. So stay tuned, more videos to come.